what you get right now. Oops, something went wrong. A 404 error. And you guys Let me already see. know the kick is extremely lenient. I mean, there's people literally doing it all on the stream, if you know what I'm saying. So to get banned from there, you know you have to do some pretty heinous stuff. Like, you really gotta be sick in the head. And so this is apparently the clip that got Neon banned. I gotta blur half the screen because, you know, I don't show kids on my channel, but Neon's on some sort of a... Yeah, he did get banned. I mean, I already knew. I just wanted to see. But yeah, chat. He said some wild. He, I was really on the live. He said wow, like it wasn't even like he said some crazy things. Some disgusting threats towards him. Yeah. Trying to be nice to you, bro. Go. I'll beat the shit out of you and your fat girlfriend, bro. What the? That fest. I'll smack her in her face too. Now, obviously, the kid should not be talking that way, but like I already told y'all, he doesn't appear to be older than, like, 10. And so, obviously, it's going to be the responsibility of the adult to handle this type of situation maturely, and Neon does the opposite. And I'm glad I'm about to dox your entire family. What's your name? I'm not doing this. Stop sucking my... Bro, you will... What's your name? All I need is a first name. I don't care. I'm out of that warrior. What's your name? What's your first name? What's your first name? Give me your first name. Yeah, I'll give you Miami. I'm going to bleed. I'll give you Miami. So yes, this man really threatened to dox and then physically violate some kid on a computer. Obviously, this isn't the smartest move, but am I surprised by his actions? Absolutely not. For those of you that don't know, Neon first rose to fame as a kid himself after he was out here faking his death online. And then he would disappear for a while, but he would research on the internet a couple years later. And he was pretty much doing what this kid did to him right here. He would enter random Zoom calls and just start trolling people, start shitting all over them, or at least attempting to. And so in a lot of ways, it's ironic that this behavior seems to be what got him banned. I mean, you can't press a little kid like this, dude. And I guess the Neon was just feeling himself last night. Pause. Apparently he even exposed Jack Doherty for signing girls to OF contracts when they're apparently underage and under the influence, he says. What? Hey, Jack. Fuck you, bro. I was actually speaking highly of you for the first time. You want to come here and talk? It's all good, bro. I, I just don't care, bro. The crazy thing is, Jack, you would not say it to my face, bro. You're a fucking joke. Let me tell you exactly what Jack does. I don't care. You want to say that? Now I'm going to violate you and expose your script. Here's what you do. I'm going to tell you exactly what you do. You get 17 years I saw this also. It's crazy. The before their birthday, you, got, you buy a $10,000 yacht every time. You get them drunk and they sign a contract 50% of their life every single time. Fuck you. Now, that is a very serious allegation to levy against somebody. But with multiple people saying this and Jack Doherty looking like he has that Roblox head, I don't know if I find it too hard to believe. I mean, any girl that's willing to sign their life over to this guy has to be at least a little bit out of their mind. And with these influencers, I wonder if they're just like sitting back during these hangouts, gathering dirt on each other, and then waiting for the most advantageous moment to reveal it to the public. Like for Neon, it's like, do you really care that he's doing this to these girls allegedly? Or are you just talking shit to him now because he's trying to trash you? I guess what I'm saying is it doesn't make him a much better person for trying to expose this when it's convenient for him. Now just some other Neon updates here because it has not been going well for our Indian friend. <laughs> Apparently he made a song for the ex-girlfriends after their breakup. <laughs> Let me just tell you, my guy, do not quit your day job. You are no nav. Like, no one wants to hear you, even with auto-tune. For the, the ex-girlfriend, she's still trying to ride their wave. I mean, obviously, even less people care about her. She's out here on her YouTube channel posting compilations of the cutest moments and bullshit like that. Like, just give it up, girl. It's over. I mean, Neon's been having a wild ride, guys. Here he is getting taken away. In handcuffs after they heard that horrible song they had to arrest him i guess not our indian compadre man damn now the real reason that they uh had him handcuffed there was that i guess they rented some oh this i remember this clip actually a hot or a stolen vehicle but he wouldn't go to jail or anything like that now another thing that's been new with neon is that he like many other influencers tried the whole boxing thing but it really only lasted about a week <laughs> One, two, three. My nice shit. Give me that seven. Load it first. Load. Little. Should I get premium? Not gonna hold you, bro. Should I get YouTube premium, bro? Oh, God.
first heard of Click Up, I thought of something out of a martial arts movie. <laughs> but that's a kick up. Yeah, you get this on my Facebook. Alright. trying to better themselves he actually doesn't look too horrendous on the pads like i think there's a small possibility he could beat up that kid he was beefing with on the phone call and of course small possibility i mean he could bro calling now aiden ross for a fight as some of you may remember the two have had some beef for the last couple of months because aiden wasn't with the ex-girlfriend and i guess neon was talking a lot of shit so they were supposed to fight here's how it went the last time they boxed i mean it was probably the most Pathetic exhibition I've ever seen. Watch the face. Yeah, bro, I don't know. You know, my grandparents' generation had Muhammad Ali. My parents, they had Mike Tyson. And us guys, we have Neon the Great versus Jake Paul. And so apparently they had this fight all set up, but Aiden backed out at the last moment. Of course, Neon took his opportunity to talk shit. I did not train. I was chilling, bro. I was chilling eating chicken, bro. I was chilling. <laughs> Let put this shit on me and lock shit in and said they're going to kill me in the ring. So kill me in the ring. Kill me in the ring, bro. Kill me in the ring. Hurt me, bro. You want to hurt me? Hurt me. Hurt me, bro. Don't just say that on stream and then see out, bro. Like a bitch. Hurt me then, bro. Do it. And Man, at this point, bro. Aiden Ross really just hates this guy. I mean, here he talks about how some of his other friends could not get a deal on kick because people like Neon are botting all their viewers. But what I will say is this. People that I would say inflate to get better deals on kick, they ruined it for my boys. Because yeah. I was trying to get uh, my, my boys Cheezer. For me too. Cheezer and Convy, in your example, the deals. And because there's a, a streamer that was couponing heavy. Who's walking around Universal Studios, yes. <laughs> I couldn't get them a deal. Yeah. And he... And that's how it was confirmed that it was Neon because he was doing streams at Universal acting like a clown. Knew that I wanted to get them a deal, that's and I couldn't up. get them a deal. That's fucked Because he was too much. That's you know what I'm saying? Up. And to me, the thing is, like, if the owner of Kick is on to somebody view botting, why doesn't he just move him off the platform, like, permanently? Like, I feel like if on YouTube someone was trying to view bot or sub bot or like bot, they would put into that shit really fast because it does really compromise the legitimacy of your website like advertisers are paying to show advertisements to actual people they don't want them being shown to bots and here's where the situation really escalates this is actually aiden's response to neon talking shit about him backing out of the box and no, this clip was crazy yo aiden look he stood on business so you called me out and pushed it out after claiming you don't want to be my ass because you don't want to get attention a week later you mentioned me on the stream if you're too busy you fight too many right now Neon, you gotta humble yourself, bro. I made your entire career. You're where you are because of me. And Neon, I know about your deal dropping, bro. Humble yourself, bro. I'm not giving you that event. <laughs> Found it. Thank you. W Citrus. I'm not giving you that event, bro. I know you need that event to save that kick. Yo, I'm not giving you it, bro. You lo yeah, I'm not. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. Humble yourself, bro. Humble yourself. You're not me. Yeah, I have a feeling that Aiden does not like the way that Neon was talking when he was you know, at the view about it top. Because during that time, Neon was saying, no, oh, I'm more relevant than Aiden. I'm bigger on this platform than him. And he was basically talking big shit. And he's hurt now that all of his friends have basically left his side. He lost the cloud chasing girlfriend. And it seems like his life is crumbling around him. Here was his response to Aiden. But yeah, um, there's nothing to worry about. I do want to say out of my end chat. Um, me, me and Eddie are fucking solid, bro. Eddie loves me. I love him. He realizes, like, I realize how much he's done for me. He realizes that, like, bro, we've really been working together. It's a beneficial relationship. Just know, chat, someone who lo someone who, lo who lost their deal and lost their money wasn't about, wasn't about to spend this much money he's about to spend. So. Now, to me, Neon is treading very dangerous waters here because, obviously, like, when it comes to the hierarchy around kick, Aiden Ross is, like, way up here above everyone else. And Neon is down here as a mere peon. Like, ooh, did we just find his new nickname, Peon? <laughs> Seriously, though, if Aiden wants Neon gone tomorrow, I likely think that he could do it. Because Aiden is obviously a much bigger part of Kick's master plan. I think he has ownership in the platform. And so obviously they have vested interest in continuing their partnership with him. 
And these are the types of people that Neon is hanging out with. When will Neon and Aiden be friends again, man? I miss that days when they were actually cool. Those streams were like the most toughest streams ever, bro. You don't understand how good those streams were, bro. What the shit is this, bro? This is not how it's supposed to be. Taping someone to a garage is insane. I remember back in the day, I went to this pool party, and one of my friends, who was never really getting too many girls, I guess he got too excited off the hype, and he let them duct tape him to a tree. The secondhand embarrassment I felt that day was just hilarious. It's a good thing that back then, you know, social media was not so prevalent, so there might still be some clips of him out there floating around. And someone else he lost recently was actually that security guard who was always oh, I forgot he fired over imposing his will. And really overstepping his boundaries, not acting very professional at all. You don't do nothing but talk shit. I aired the bitch out right now. We'll see how you feel. Oh. Let's see your life go crazy over that. Oh. No, I'm saying I'm going to murder your mother. Pass. Keep it up. God Fuck. damn. Murder? Don't look at me, nigga. Don't look no, at me. murder. Bro, I'm just saying that. I'm just saying, like, I'm right here. This is not how a security guard is supposed to act, man. Just be chill in the background. Why are you challenging people? Let's play the game. Bro, I'm saying let's play the game. Now, this old man is pretty scary. What I mean, the I hell? gotta think at his old age, he probably has a kid seeing this shit. Even Ryan Garcia stepped in to say something about his security. I gotta do it, bro. Yo, can I talk to you real quick, just me and you? Yeah. Bro, you look like a bitch, bro. Ooh. Actually? <laughs> Neon's legitimately scared of this security guard. Ryan's basically saying the security shouldn't have anything to do with what's going on on screen. Like, That's I'm gonna facts. do whatever I want back here. You go do your job. I mean, this That's the thing, like, he, he, yo, Neon's security guard wasn't doing his job. He was, like, getting into, like, yeah, involved in things to give him life advice, bro. A security guard is supposed to, like, be in the background, bro. microphones, I will break your camera. You guys just insane. like obviously constantly trying to use his physical stature to intimidate people and one day he's gonna find the wrong one like i would love to see this guy challenge someone who's actually his size i mean he was out here just straight up being disrespectful slapping cigarettes out of homeless men's hands yeah Nah, cause I don't really like that, bro. I, I actually don't like that. That's someone's like, obviously don't smoke, but like that's someone's property and you just smack that off their hand, bro. You do not pay for it. You do not, I don't like that. I don't like it, bro. I actually don't like that. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. That actually kind of got me mad, bro. I don't like that, bro. You're a security guard. You you, you jump in when, they, when like the person that's hiring you is getting hurt. Nobody was near getting hurt at all. He's just, that's, that's what gets me mad, bro. Oh, hell no, bro. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And so eventually, Neon had to announce that the security guard got fired. He really did have my best interests at heart, bro, and I really, really appreciate him. And I know one day everything's gonna work out, but for right now, we're just, we're, 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 um, you know. And sadly, he's not having much better luck with the ladies, as the only women who seem to really want to be around him are just more clout-chasing internet girls. And should we really be surprised? I mean, we saw what he did for that other chick's career and so they're all looking at him like they're a bunch of piranhas and he's just really like an injured little goldfish trying to enter the sea i'm sorry you had to be reminded i'm sorry you had to be reminded reminded of what i'm sorry you had to be reminded of what are you doing are you at least happy yeah still rest no 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 I can't even go any farther, bro. These chicks will do anything for clout these days. But what the hell? he's trying to come through with the rebrand, okay? He says, I love y'all. No more lies. And I guess he could feel the clout leaving his veins. The black Spider-Man suit was coming off. And so now he's saying he's back with the OF chick, okay? They made a business decision, I suppose. You guys want to know if I'm still with Sam? And the answer to that is, um, the answer to that is, um, uh, yes, I am. You got your answer. You got what you wanted to hear. Um, I am with her. 
so I'm sure they might return to torment our screens one day very soon. I mean, the thing is, guys, he could have had a long-standing relationship with Aiden Ross. I mean, I know a lot of you do not like Aiden, but obviously, he knows how to garner a big audience, and it was right up Neon's wheelhouse. He could have taken him right to the top, and like we discussed earlier, he's stuck being peon. You know, neon peon. So it looks like it's going to be rough for our guy, you know, from here on out. I would say that he has likely hit his peak when it comes to his relevance online. But I want to know what you guys think about all of this down below. Bro, can he just go back to Aiden, bro? Like, come on, 